The issue of price fluctuation, maintaining the value of the Rwandan franc, increasing the level of domestic production and increasing exports were on top of what senators say they should be strengthened. Following the presentation of the Committee on Economic Development and Finance, senators expressed some concerns. <laughs> The fact that traders are charged while withdrawing money from their mobile accounts is not appropriate because this is turning down the progress we had made during the COVID-19 pandemic. We've seen the loss that has been incurred in the insurance sector. Our country has put more effort in reducing road accidents. So the senators should have instead profited. So I don't understand why. Senators find it necessary for the Central Bank of Rwanda, in collaboration with the relevant authorities, should put more effort in supporting the agriculture sector to get access to credit and insurance, and that financial institutions need to establish an agribusiness desk as a way to help the sector's development. The General Assembly of the Senate finds that much has been done to keep the country's economy afloat despite the COVID-19 pandemic that has hindered the country's economic growth, according to the President of the Committee on Economic Development and Finance, Juvenal Musi. <laughs> This is something we need to be proud of as a country because the use of cashless means increased from 4 to 11 percent. The pandemic came but taught us to take an appropriate measure to increase the economy of our country. The fact that government institutions, citizens as well as other stakeholders embraced it is really amazing and as it was a way to help people get out of problems caused by the pandemic. The Senate General Assembly on Monday, after receiving the Economic Development and the Finance Committee's report on the review of the BNR report for the financial year 2020-2021, decided to invite the government's representative to comment on the issues raised regarding the depreciation of national currency, market price fluctuations, small-scale investment in agriculture and animal husbandry, loans from commercial banks and microfinance institutions, money transfer technology, the functioning of the Economic Recovery Fund and the problems in the insurance sector.